the Lewis and Clark Expedition by Megan Cook. President Thomas Jefferson bought the Louisiana Purchase from France back in 1803 and doubled the size of the United States territory. Once the treaty was finalized, Jefferson asked his personal secretary, frontiersman Meriwether Lewis, to explore this new territory. Lewis then asked fellow frontiersman and draftsman William Clark to accompany him on this journey. These two men, forever known as Lewis and Clark, became the co-captains of the Corps of Discovery, which consisted of 31 other men. The Corps then left St. Louis, Missouri, May 14, 1804, to explore the land west of the Mississippi. The Corps spent the summer and fall of 1804 traveling upstream on the Missouri River until they reached Fort Mandan in North Dakota. There, they settled for the winter at the Hadassah Mandan Settlement, where they met French fur trader Toussaint Charbonneau and his young and six-month pregnant wife, Sacagawea. It was during the stay at the settlement that Sacagawea gave birth to her son, Jean-Baptiste Charbonneau, on February 11, 1805. The young family then decided to accompany the Lewis and Clark expedition when they left in April for Sacagawea could speak Sushan Hidasa and therefore act as a translator when the expedition needed to barter for horses to continue on their journey. It was from this point on that Sacagawea, with the baby strapped to her back, guided the Corps of Discovery further west. With Sacagawea's help, the Corps was able to barter for horses with the Sushan tribe and complete their journey over the Rocky Mountains. After navigating through difficult mountain passes, the Corps finally reached the Pacific coast in November of 1805, thus completing their cross-country journey. Once they reached the coast, the Corps settled at Fort Clackstop for the winter. Afterwards, the expedition turned back east. Sacagawea and her family returned home to the Hadassah Madan settlement in August of 1806, whereas the Corps continued on to St. Louis to report their findings to Jefferson. Clark drew a series of maps along the way, including details such as rivers, creeks, significant points of landscape, and even spots the course stayed at during long periods of time. He also kept track of any animal and plant life they encountered. These guides would later be used by explorers traveling to the western part of the country. The Lewis and Clark expedition was just the beginning in discovering the boundaries of this country acting as the spark that led to the continuous expansion of the United States. It's because of the courage of a small group of brave souls that the United States was able to grow into its new territory and thus become the nation it is today.